Hi, my name's Danny, and I'm the CEO of Three-Legged Thing. And I'm going to give you a run-through today on how this bad boy works. So this is Brian. This is our flagship product. Um, we're now on our uh, third incarnation of this product. So this is Evolution 2. This is our travel tripod. Weighs one and a half kilos, 3.2 pounds. Uh, holds, the, the tripod itself holds eight kilos or 17 pounds. The head holds 35 kilos, about 67, 70 pounds. This thing, I'm gonna show you now. It's the world's most versatile, functional, and capable travel tripod anywhere. So, we now have a tripod that's running at seven foot, two meters, four centimeters. Um, as a tripod at this level, not so good. Better off as a steadier monopod or if you use an off-camera flash, that's really kind of how we designed it so you can get a flash gun nice and high. What's very cool about this is for those of you that do macro work that are used to inverting your center column uh, and used to working in a really tight, confined space but an upside-down camera, with this triple section center column, it enables you to do this. So now if you want to do macro work, you're inverted, you've got loads and loads of space underneath it, you've got room to move, you can see it, and because there's tethering points at both ends of the column, you can put a laptop platform on here or an iPad bracket and you can run the whole thing completely tethered, image the right way up, camera upside down but still be able to get to it. can also, the whole system is modular, so you can take the whole thing apart. By mounting it directly to the furniture, you gain some of the stability back, but also what it means you can do... Oh, now running five inches off the floor. We run some really nice carbon fiber, no silly patterns on it or weaves that don't really have any structural integrity, just really good solid carbon fiber. Aircraft grade T6061 magnesium alloy. Um, we have some really nice engineering, really smooth. Uh, and everything just moves really nicely. For those of you that run, uh, tend to run video, um, rigs can be quite expensive uh, to buy the components to set them up. So we've got a couple of adapters coming out so that you can use this as a converted rig. I'm going to show you a cheap way of doing it now without having to buy anything else. So we have adapters for the feet. So you can take this off and put on there uh, like an LED light or a boom mic, have one on this side as well. The whole thing then runs us a normal rig. We're bringing out an adapter here, an articulated arm. This is a screw off monopod. You have an articulated arm comes out here, have your monitor on it. So the whole thing works as a kind of monopod steady rig. I can see your face going, oh. We've worked really hard, really hard on changing the way these things work. We offer a five year global warranty. No surprises. One of the things we're getting more and more of at the minute is uh, people that do sports photography or uh, monopod work primarily. Um, one of the biggest issues, in uh, certainly in England, um, and, and, and I believe there are similar issues in stadiums in the US, uh, is that you're only allowed a certain footprint within the confines of the stadium. So most people can't use tripods because they take up too much room, 
they're more of a liability. Um, the problem we're using a monopod in a country where it rains constantly, like the one we live in, is that when you've got 20 grand's worth of gear, and you're taking pictures on a 600 f4 lens, and then suddenly there's a go celebration, people running towards you, you've got to go to a second camera. You know what they have to do? Put 20 grand's worth of gear on the floor. Wet grass, bad move. So, by using Brian with the triple section extended column up as a monopod, you can let go of it, go to a second camera, and it stays where it is. It conforms to the 80 centimetre rule that they have at the Premiership Grounds. So because Damon's too lazy to do this himself, he's now asked me to take the leg off and show you how you do a monopod conversion. <laughs> Mark, can you hold this for me? I'm going to show you something very cool about this as well. It's a pretty good working height. Runs about 1.3 meters. Stick another 10, 12 centimeters on for the head. And not bad for a fat bloke, eh? That's like 40 or 50 kilos before it starts to move. What's very cool is we've got a new safety feature on these leg locks. So you might want to come in close for this one. You want to come in close? Okay, here we have a double brake security lock. Turn it once and it bites again. See how that's loose? And it's still not going down. Turn it again and it drops. It just stops. It, people play with friction locks and they don't realize it, it stops you accidentally undoing it. Stuck some kid walking up and just turn it, brake point, and then brake again. Uh, this Monopod weighs 212 grams. What's that in ounces? Six ounces? Seven? Seven ounces? And by the way, if you see somebody you really don't like, that round the face really hurts, right? Or you could leave the 3LT logo embedded in their head. It's pretty cool. Um, so, Damon wants me to say how much it costs. It's seven million dollars but you get a five-year warranty. No, this is $459. Five-year global warranty, comes with a case. Which is cool. It's got a little zip pocket at the front for your tools and comes with a stubby column and some Allen keys and things like that. And it's pretty. Oh. Uh.